fuck. Okay. So as you can tell by the title of this video, there's a lot to fucking say. And to begin this journey, let's turn back time for a little bit. To the turn back time. Okay, so let's start with the fact that I've been a Taylor Swift fan for about 10 to 11 years. Um, the first song that I ever heard was Picture to Burn on the way to a family reunion in West Virginia. And growing up listening to country, I didn't really connect with country a whole lot. I mean, I love me with some Faith Hill, some Shania Twain. Shania Twain is my bitch. But I heard Taylor and I was like, who is this bitch? She's making me like country, yes. So I knew of her. It wasn't until I was going to a friend's family reunion. Oh, that's so weird now that I think about it. Anyway, I was going to a friend's family reunion and one of the other friends that got to come along was singing this song, something about a love story. And I'm like, girl, what is this song? What are you singing? Fill a bitch in. And she's like, oh, it's this new Taylor Swift song. And I'm like, I know Taylor Swift. What is this song, bitch? Uh, it must have been like summer 2008 or right before Fearless came out, whatever. So I'm like, will, will you sing it for me? And she's like, yeah, sure. So she's singing it for me. And I'm like, this is a fucking bop. Like, hello. And we literally sang it the entire time. We were on like this hike with the family that we were with. And we sang it, I kid you not, for like about 20 minutes, like the entire hike. I was fucking obsessed. I was like, let's sing it again, bitch, let's go. Ever since then, I've been a massive Taylor Swift fan. I mean, as as you'll see later on in this video, I show some, off some of the Taylor merchandise that I have. And by merchandise, I mean stuff that I've accumulated, not paid for the store, because bitch is on a budget. I've been a Taylor Swift fan for over a decade. Like, that's a fucking long time. And when I got home from that family reunion, all I did literally for the next 24 hours is repeat the Love Story music video because it had already came out and I just played it over and over. It's still one of my favorite Taylor videos of all time. I love that video. It's so fucking good. Holy shit. Okay, so then that brings us to my Look What You Made Me Do reaction video. This video was one of my first. I had done a couple other reaction videos before this. I'd done like my Kesha album reaction and may maybe one other this might have been my second reaction video i don't remember but because of this video i got this incredible opportunity so on april 20th if that's how fucking long i've been keeping this fucking secret which pained me to the bane of my existence so on april 20th i got a dm from taylor nation on twitter they were like hey can we call you like, when's a good time to call you? What's your number? Blah, 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 whatever. So at first I thought it was fucking fake. I was like, there's no way this is Taylor Nation. Like, there's, there's just no fucking way. Taylor followed me like three years ago on Tumblr and I got like two likes on Tumblr from like posts I made. So like, I didn't want to get my hopes up that she knew who I was, but I mean, I guess now she does. Once I realized that this wasn't Photoshop at its finest, I was like, holy shit, this is Taylor Nation. So I'm like, um, yeah, you can call me anytime. Like, I will pick up the phone. And so they call me a couple hours later. I was on my way out of town. Whoever answered the phone, whoever with Taylor Nation, and they're like, hey, um, we want to talk to you about your Look What You Made Me Do video. Uh, we loved it. Taylor loved it. And when she fucking said that Taylor Allison motherfucking Swift liked my video, I was like, <laughs> Like, what you mean? What you mean she likes my video? She knows who I am, what? And so after freaking out, they were like, we want to use your video as part of the tour and we want to show it before every show and you're like part of this massive collaboration video. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding? Like, of course I want to be a part of that. Why the fuck would I not? And so they were like, okay, we'll send you all the deets, like, we'll email you, like, blah, 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 we'll make it official, whatever. So since April, I've had to keep this fucking secret for so fucking long from everybody that I knew. They were like, you can't tell anybody, you can't, no. And when we were on the phone, they were like, oh, we want to give you tickets so that you can see yourself on the screen. And I was like, well, I already bought tickets because a bitch did the Taylor Swift Ticks portal and got number one priority in DC because the bitch is dedicated. So I was like, I already have tickets. And they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll see if we can upgrade you. And they said that my seats were really good and they couldn't upgrade me, which whatever, that's fine. And then they're like, get to the venue at five o'clock and we'll have a special gift for you. And I'm like, bitch, we? And I didn't want to get my hopes up. Like I was like, it's probably just merch, which a bitch 
has too many Taylor Swift shirts, but I'll take another. But I didn't want to get my hopes up that I was like possibly meeting Taylor because that's like such a far off dream that I've had for so long that I was like, there's no way I'm meeting Taylor. So then cut to the night before tour and I was waiting on my best friend and I vlogged this. Fuck. I'm freaking out. Today is the day before we leave for the Reputation Tour. And holy shit, it's finally come to this. It's finally time for the Reputation Tour. What the fuck? My best friend's on her way here and we're going to be getting up really early tomorrow to head to DC for the Reputation Tour. And I'm fucked up. Over here, I've got my outfit. This is what I'm gonna be wearing. I haven't decided if I'm gonna be wearing just the button up and then changing into my reputation shirt, but we shall see. I'm just feeling really nostalgic and I don't know how to feel. <sighs> Shit's happening. Who knew when I got this massive Taylor Swift cutout from a hair salon? Oh, hi, calendar. We see you over there. That I would be going to the reputation tour in two days. <laughs> And let's just say hi to some of my favorite Taylor possessions, because why not? So this is something my friend Heather made for me. Um, she drew it all herself. She's incredible. Um, so that's a bop. Down here, we've got um, magazines, because I'm obsessed and I have a problem. More magazines. Oh, yeah. Just everywhere. And then this little cutout from work. It has like Taylor Swift reputation on it. So mark you. And I don't know. I'm rambling and showing things that do not matter. But it's because I'm fucking excited for this shit. I'm so ready to be fucked up in the best way possible. I haven't seen any of the footage of the performances other than like the surprise stuff. So I'm getting winded just thinking about it. Fuck. How are we gonna survive, Lord Jesus? And what else is there for you to do while you're waiting for your best friend to get here to prepare for the reputation tour than to listen to Taylor Swift on your own fucking record player? I have a problem, I know, but what can you do? And then the morning after we left from my house to go to DC and we sang along to Reputation and talked a little bit and here's that. Should I introduce myself? Yes. So, I'm the blessed one that is a Jesse Gray's best friend. The Sister. one and only. We're pretty much blood, so. Yeah, blood by toys. So to all of you that love him, I know him first. <laughs> Maybe That's it's a fucking bit longer. crazy. It's been a little bit longer now. We, we met in 2006. Fuck! It's been a while. That's crazy. Oh, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some boys are trying too hard. You don't try it all though. Younger than my exes, but they act like such a man. Ask them, Taylor. Are you ready for it? Oh, yeah, go in. In the middle of the night. Hell no. We ain't. We ain't. We sure ain't. We need an oxygen bar, Lord Jesus. We do. <laughs> we really, truly do. We need to like look up one once we get to the hotel. We should. Because I want to experience yeah. it at least once. And <laughs> knows that we ain't got <laughs> here in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh hell, oh hell. Yeah, turn, 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 turn that shit up. Turn that shit all the way up. Fuck that shit. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Because for every lie I tell them, they tell me three. Not all he thinks about is me. If the man talks shit, then I owe him nothing. Cause he had a gun. He sure did. Most fun I ever had. And I do it.
Let's go, bitch! Social anxiety. Hashtag I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> I come up to the speaker and I give my, you know, my little code. And they're like, okay. So we pull up and she's like, did you have the mobile order? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, you'll have to give that to them up there because our mobile orders don't work right now. And I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what do you mean they don't work? Like, why aren't they disabled if they're not working? Tell me why. Tell the me why. Damn it. Perfectly synced. So, anyways, we pull up to the next one day. We ordered chicken nuggets with our burgers and one in sauce. Mm -hmm. Sure did. First of all, they didn't even know anything about our order. They were about to hand us some and Dr. Dr. Pepper. Pepper? Who the fuck they think we are? When you go to McDonald's, you don't get a Dr. Pepper. You get a, a sweet, sweet tea. tea. 
they go to hand us the Dr. Pepper, and I'm like, uh-uh, oh, no, that ain't. Halt. I don't know who you think this order is for, but it ain't me. If they're sure where he is, because he ain't never going to drink Dr. Pepper. I like Dr. Pepper. I'm not a Dr. Pepper girl. He don't drink Dr. Pepper that much. Like, not sure he will, all. but, you know. So, anyways, she's like, well, what did you order? And I'm like, the McDoubles and the chicken nuggets and two teas and a large fry. Pause. I have to interject because first of all, fuck all, when we showed her the order on the screen on her phone, and we talked about what sauces we wanted, she's like, "I can't give y'all those sauces because you just ordered McDouble's." Like, bitch, what you mean? She's like, "I can give you one of each." I was like, "You do realize that we ordered chicken nuggets, right?" And she was like, "Where?" We do on the top is on the top of the order and she was like oh okay we'll take care of you can you pull up to the first parking spot <laughs> and then she smiles and she's like we'll be right with you will you so we're sitting there waiting for our food the girl that came that brings us our food is real sweet she, she was a bob she complimented our Reptart um, Nickelodeon shirts. She was cool. She, so we, she was a bop. We opened up the, the bags. They put an extra large fry in there. So I'll give them that. They gave us two large fries and we ordered one, so thank you. But I think that they just fucked it up. Like, I don't think they it probably was, fucked it up. I don't think it was them being kind. No, probably not. They were probably like, oh, they probably ordered two fries. Yeah. So... And the sweet tea, I might as the well have ordered a tea. Dr. Pepper because, look, I still have some. I don't know if you can hear this. ASMR sweet tea from McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it's full. Like, we've we've been away from this McDonald's in Stanton. Like an hour and a like half. Like an hour and a half ago. I can't drink it. Like it's. We might as well have ordered sewer water. Ugh. With um, a sprinkle of C. diff because it was nasty. Oh. <laughs> it was. And, and let me talk about the town. This the town is in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get FEMA out here. <laughs> Stop. There was a Peebles and the Peebles sign was ripped off the building, but there were still people going in and out. It was weird. And the whole strip mall was like this. It was this like weird like signs that you get printed off for like twenty dollars or something hanging on the fucking side of the wall. We're just like, this town is literally in shambles. And there was potholes that went all the way to motherfucking Beijing. And then there was a red lobster connected to a sprint. To a sprint. Trash like, film. I, I just don't. I don't understand. Totally. So, in conclusion, Stanton needs to be closed. <laughs> it needs to be taken off the map. I don't know if that was just we, the the, we, the slums of Stanton or what, but it was not good. We need to, like, get, like get a rescue group for everybody that yeah. lives there and just... Red Cross. You know, like, move Bikini Bottom like Patrick. <laughs> just, like, push them out. Push them over here. She's so mad because she can't do the Cardi B thing. Oh, okay. I can't. I go. <laughs> and then there was this weird moment in the hotel where we ran into this guy and I Snapchatted it. So here's that. Okay, so we just went downstairs to get our Chinese food. And there was this man. Person. Some type of individual. And he was, he smelled of fucking alcohol. He was lit. Mm -hmm. And we get into the elevator with him. And he's like, stumbling around he's like do you believe in the lord jesus christ and i was like you better stop her over. <laughs> she's a good lady and yeah, i was like, he's like you better stop fucking her over you're gonna lose her and i'm like what, what you mean and then like i was freaking out because i had messaged taylor nation like a whole week before tour and i was like hey like we were, we talked on the phone. You said to get there at five and there would be a special gift. Like, I just need to know where to go. Do I need to do anything? Like what, what's going on? And then I got an email 
on the way to the concert and they were like yes get here at five we'll have a special envelope with your name on it go to the box office so on the way to the venue I vlogged a little bit more and here's that and it talks about like our experiences with a hotel and a bunch of shenanigans so here's that we're on our way to Taylor Swift uh, uh, sips tea Oh, I forgot we just got tea. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier, I got up this morning and went and got my nails done, my claws. Hashtag the, reputation claws. Funny, right? And it's the first time that I've ever gotten anything other than squared shaped nails. And I'm feeling pretty fierce, but I'm also <laughs> feeling like I might break my entire nail. <laughs> so I'm kind of scared. You'll be great. Also, while we're on the way, we need to talk about our fucking hotel room. <laughs> Let's just take yes. a second. Yeah. Okay, so we get to our hotel room. And it's like Satan's fucking fog breath is trapped inside that fucking room. It was so fucking hot. The AC does not work, and it says, please refer to the fucking thermostat on the wall, and the goddamn thermostat don't work. How, days in? How? And at first, we were like, oh, we're just like, like, we're hot in nature, so. We are. We were like, let's just leave it on for a little bit. Maybe it's just hot here because the air wasn't warm before we came in. Right. So, Falsehood. we pulled with it. We let it sit for a while, and I was like, well, maybe we need to put it on auto instead of high. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still didn't work. Still didn't. So, he brought a fan. Thank I God I had the foresight to bring that fan, or else my ass would have sweat like you did last night. Yeah, he brought a fan, and I didn't, so I was miserable last night. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm a Pisces. All I do is apologize. Yeah, there a while ago, we were talking about it, and I was like... <laughs> What apologizing. I'm a true Pisces, okay. So anyway, back to the hotel room. So we suffered through it last night because we don't know what the fuck we're doing and we just assumed that this is how things are supposed to be. Yeah, and I didn't want to be bothersome because I had done like, questioned a couple of different things. <laughs> Not like nitpicking them, but just like, we don't go to hotels very much. So yeah. we're just like, we're brand new. We don't know. Fresh out the box. And so we just, you know, try to stick it out. And it was just horrible. So I put, whenever I get back to the room, um, I start to put my makeup on after I get my shower. And we're just in there. And this is like, it's too hot. We can't it's function. So hot. And I had to blow dry my hair and it made it worse. So I called the front desk and I'm like, is the thermostat supposed to work correctly? Like, like on the wall? On the wall. And they were like, yeah, is it not working? And I'm like, no. And she was like, oh, we'll send someone right up. Well, 30 minutes later, ain't nobody to be found. So I call again and they're like, oh, she's on her way up there now. I'll get her to go up there now. Then the girl gets to the room and she's like, oh, well, our maintenance guy just left. Well, bitch. You if, if you had done, answered uh, my call in a timely manner, maybe he would still be here. Yeah, you could have done been told us that. I was like, I was like, I don't understand why this room is like cursed by fucking Hades or some bullshit. It was hot. We got to switch rooms, and it was a night and fucking day difference. It feels more like home. <laughs> <laughs> and by home, I mean an ice box because that's how we box. like it. Yes. That's another voice we do, Tammy. Trailer, oh, trailer Trash, trash Tammy. Tammy. Shout out to Chelsea Lynn. Chelsea Lynn, we love you. Right. And we also talk in the Barbara voice that they do. <laughs> oh, the Barbaras are good. If you don't know the Barbaras, is it the Barbara Sisters on yes. Instagram? Yes. The Barbara Sisters on Instagram. So funny. You gotta have a sense of humor. You got to these days in this current political climate. Yeah. I feel like we're going in a complete circle. I don't know where we're going. I just hope we end up at that concert. We were planning on being there by 3. It's 4.30. 3. <laughs> but also, he's with me. 
I know better. So, you knew better. <laughs> I know. He knew three really meant four fifty. Just like when you said, "Oh, we're gonna leave for <laughs> the concert at nine a.m." I was like, "I was." I was like, "You mean ten a.m., bitch? I know you." I'm never coming here again. <laughs> we're picking a different place next tour. Maybe we'll just go to Nashville next time. <laughs> yeah, let's, we'll do that. That way we can hit up Loveless. Oh, Loveless Cafe. Shout out. Oh. If y'all ain't never been to Loveless in Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. I still think about that hash brown castle. Prince George. Isn't that a, um, you're not a Vince Pearson? Prince That's Ed Prince Ed Albert. Albert. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna pass out, Lord. <laughs> This is gold. Did it even catch you? Oh, let's talk about FedEx Field and how they gonna charge us fifty dollars for parking. For parking. That spot better been paid by Jesus. <laughs> it better have John three sixteen paved in the parking <laughs> space. <laughs> you need to talk about the the fucking incident when we were pulling out the hotel. Stop. Let me get, hold on. Let me get my tea ready. Not sponsor, but sponsor us. So, last night we left the hotel to try sure to find did. a phone case for my phone. And we were pulling out and this lady came up behind us and she was like blowing up on her horn and she was like this close. And I was like, Can I help you? <laughs> like, did I do something? I didn't cut her off. It was weird. There was no stop sign to where, like, you know, the yielding thing. It's a, it's a weird road. So, basically, I just went because, like I said, it's fine. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason about the road. It's just like a side road. There's no lines or anything. And I give her plenty of space. I don't like, like I said, I didn't cut her off. And I came to a rolling stop. Didn't even sit there for, <laughs> didn't even sit there for more than two seconds. And she starts blowing on her horn. And I'm just like, you're making me nervous. I ain't from here. We're foreign. I'm a foreigner. <laughs> I can't help it. I ain't no native. It was weird. And th didn't they stick their hands out the window when they yeah, passed one us? Of them stuck their, like the passenger stuck her hand out the window and I was just like, <coughs> I just don't understand people. It's, a, it's one thing if I cut her off. I completely understand if I cut her off, but I sure did. Yeah, it was fucking weird. So everything has been making me nervous. And not long after that, somebody blew their horn. I don't know if it was at us. Oh, yeah, that's Or right. if it was at somebody else, but it was like right after. So I was like, is there something hanging out of my trunk? <laughs> it was fucking Do I have bizarre. a flat tire? Are they trying to help a sister? Were... I just think they were impatient as fuck. Well, I hope they got where the f are going. I sure as hell hope they did. Okay, so then we get to the venue. It's fucking hot. It is fucking hot. I'm wearing a button up because on the off chance that I do meet Taylor and the envelope like has meet and greets or whatever, I need to be looking fresh. So I'm fucking hot. We walk up to the venue. I'm kind of skeptical because I'm like, can I even bring this clear bag in? Like, I have shit to carry. Like, I got, I need to have this bag in. So we're like asking around, like, where's box office? Do you know where box office is? Like, hello, help, thank you. So we go to guest services and they're semi helpful. We go to this like back room and this woman's like, oh, I recognize your voice. Where are you from? And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, no, where are you from? And I'm like, what am I supposed to fucking say here? Like, I don't know. Then she says, hold on a minute. She takes my license, whatever. 
So when she comes back out, she's like, yeah, you need to go to the resolution window next to guest services. And they'll, they'll, a guy named, I think she said Doug. I don't know his name. She said that some guy would have my envelope. And I'm like, okay, great. Where do we go after here? And she said, go right. As soon as you get out of guest services, take a right and go all the way down. And you'll see these windows. That's the resolution window. And then right next to it is a different guest services. So that's what we do. Me and my best friend are hauling ass down this fucking stadium because I know from my research that if there is a meet and greet in that fucking envelope, meet and greet meets at 545. So I know we don't have a lot of fucking time. We're booking it down halfway through this stadium and we get to the like, and we get to this like barricade and there's these guards there and they're letting people through but they're not letting people in and I'm like what the fuck I have to go. At this point it's like 525 like we're cutting it close here and so I'm like can we get through like we need to go to the resolution window blah 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 and he's like oh no you can't get past this area which let me just say the people at FedEx Field were really hateful and I mean they tried their best to be helpful but they were just like had an attitude and were not very welcoming I don't know what that was about that's just my experience I'm sure people have other opinions but I was just met with a lot of rude people aside from the first girl that helped us and said my voice sounded familiar aside from her everyone else was kind of hateful when I mean, he tells us that we have to go all the way back clear across the other side of the stadium because she told us that when we came out of the guest services we were at and she told us to go right she should have told us to go left fuck my life so now we're really having to haul ass because we literally have to run the entire other side of the stadium when really he could, should have just let us fucking through and it would have taken us like five minutes as opposed to 10 15 but i digress we make it to the resolution window we're standing in line i'm like it's 5 38 we are cutting it close here, people. Finally get to the window, and the woman's like, yeah, what's going on? And I'm like, I was told to come here and pick up an envelope. They said at guest services that y'all would have it here. Like, I'm sorry, but I really need that envelope. <laughs> and they're like, well, who told you that you needed an envelope? And I was like, Taylor Nation. And she's like, oh, hold on. So she takes my license and looks, comes back a couple minutes later, and she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And she was like, do you have the email? And I'm like, yeah, here it is. So I pull up the email and they're like, okay, scrambling again. They take my license and my phone and they're lo looking somewhere. Keep in mind that there was a guy sitting right on the other side of this window, just sitting there the whole time, the whole time. And I told her, I was like, they said that a guy would have this envelope they called up here. A couple more minutes goes by. It's like 5.43 at this point. I'm getting fucking nervous. Finally, the woman from the first guest services that told us the wrong directions comes up and she's like, you need to give him that envelope and you need to give it to him now. Like she fucking knew, bitch. And so finally, the guy that's been sitting there this whole fucking time I've been at the resolution window is like, oh, you mean this envelope? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding? So I finally open up the envelope and what do I see but a fucking meet and greet, bitch. Like... <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so I've got the meet and greet. I look in there as we're trying to get down to the field, and I'm like, holy shit, we have upgraded tickets. But no, bitch, they were not only upgraded tickets. I look in there, and there's two wristbands for Club Olivia. <laughs> what? I see other people's with the meet and greet pass, and I'm like, okay, this is where we need to be. So then we're standing in line, putting on our wristbands. We're about to fucking meet Taylor. So we're standing in line and we're talking to some of the people that are in the meet and greet line with us. Shout out to Brian and LeVar, y'all were bops. Brian was part of the video that I was a part of. We were both in the video that they showed before the show. So that was a bop. So they're still trying to wrangle everybody together. And then finally they take us through this like back way of the stadium. So we're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then Mama Swift, herself the blessing that is andrea is like on a golf cart and with a bunch of other people and she waves at everybody and i was like oh, mama swift the womb that bore an angel so that was great so we're standing there and then the guy who's been like 
wrangling everybody, making sure everybody has their wristbands. He's like, okay, you can't have your phone, you can't have anything on you, you need to leave it on this table before you go into the rep room. And I'm like, holy fuck, we're going into the rep room. Like, this is fucking real, bitch. We're still standing in line, and he's like, all right, start putting your stuff on this table, and you're gonna go in. So we go into the rep room, and holy shit, the pictures do not do it justice. It's incredible. They have the throne from Look What You Made Me Do there to take pictures. There's Polaroid cameras everywhere. So everybody's helping everybody take Polaroids in this chair. And everyone's like, you know, looking at the food and there's drinks. And I think they were playing some like tour footage or something on a screen. I can't really remember because a lot was happening. They're like, all right, everybody get in line. Like you're going to meet Taylor. And every time they open up the curtain, to this like separate room that Taylor's in like you get a glimpse of her and I'm like huh she's fucking real fuck me and my best friend are the next people to meet Taylor and a woman comes out she's got a clipboard and she's like you're Justin right and I'm like uh, yes so she checks off our names and then we go to meet Taylor she looks I can't even describe it she looks angelic warm she looks ethereal like thinking back to like standing there in that moment and like seeing her I'm like was she even real she was so she was just exactly what I imagined times 10 so anyway she's like hi how are you and we hug and I'm like holy fucking shit this is happening as soon as they opened that curtain and they were like, all right, go ahead in, I was like, okay, emotions, shut the fuck up. Like, we've got to hold it together for Taylor. So after we come out of our hug, she was like, thank you so much for letting us use your video. And I'm like, you're welcome. Thank you for loving it. And she's like, I love your video. And so then she hugs my best friend and they're talking and she's like, oh my God, I love your dimples, talking to my best friend. And she's like, oh my God, thank you. And then, uh, Taylor compliments my best friend's makeup and she's like did you do it yourself it's so beautiful and she's like yes thank you and uh my best friend's like you're so beautiful and Taylor's like oh thank you so much for saying that that's so nice like she is literally an angel and then she turns to me because I'm like kind of dumbfounded that my best friend and Taylor Swift are having a fucking conversation in front of me so she turns to me and she's like and how are you and I was like looking dead in her eyes. I had so much that I wanted to talk to her about. I wanted to give her a copy of my book, but I left it at home. I wanted to tell her about this tattoo that she kind of inspired. I wanted to tell her so much, like that this truly meant so much to me and that I know that I made a video on the internet and you know, that's why I'm here, but it wasn't like a one-time thing. Like I've been here for a long time and this meant the world to me. I wanted to tell her so much, but like in that moment when she asked me how I was, I'm like looking into her eyes and I'm like, like it was like, it didn't matter that I didn't remember everything that I wanted to tell her. It was just like, everything cleared and made sense. I don't know, it's hard to describe. It was just perfect. She asked me how I am and I'm like, I'm good. Like I was looking into her eyes and I'm just like, I'm good. And she's like, good. and. Um, I say, uh, you followed me on Tumblr three years ago, and I just really appreciate it. And she's like, I know. And she was like, have you seen a lot of other Tumblr people here? And I'm like, yeah, I am Twitter people. And she's like, oh yeah, the Twitters are here. She was like, well, thank you for sticking around with me for so long. And I was like, Taylor, you literally could tell me to go buy an army shirt, and I would rob a bank to make sure that it happened. And she like threw her head back and laughed. Like Taylor Swift laughed at my shitty, like fucking, not even a joke joke. Like what? She was like, I'm gonna use that next time. And then she was like, well, do you guys wanna take a picture? And I'm like, <laughs> yes. I've been waiting my whole life for this picture, Taylor. So she was like, how do you wanna do this? Should I? And I was like, I think you should get in the middle. And she was like, perfect. So she gets in the middle and we have our picture and uh, I'll insert the picture right here. Can you fucking believe this shit? What the fuck? So after we have the picture, we take the picture, the person says it's great, which 
I was hoping to God it turned out good. Thank God it did. But I was hoping it turned out good because it was one shot and that was it. Taylor's like, thank you so much again for letting me use your video. And she pulls me into a hug and she goes, I love you so much. Like, like thinking back to that moment, like, holy shit. Like, I cannot believe that that happened. We head out of the rep room. They hand us our autographs, which probably is gonna be my next tattoo, let's be real. And we're like hanging back with our stuff. We're like trying to decompress from this. And who walks up but Scott Swift? And I'm like, oh my God. And he's like walking up to us, like holds out his hand. He's like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, hi, Scott Swift, I'm great, how are you? I just met your daughter. Asking us our names and like private conversation with Scott Swift, what? And he's asking us where we're from. And as everyone knows, Scott does this thing where he hands out guitar picks. He's done it for years. So as an avid Taylor Swift fan, I knew this. So after we like are talking and everything else, he's like, well, I do this thing. And he reaches into his pocket and I'm like, Scott, if you're about to hand me guitar picks, I'm going to pass out. And he laughs and he's like, oh, so you know. And I was like, I definitely know. And so he hands us the guitar picks and I'm like holding them like they're a baby cherub forming in my palm. I'm like, I've always wanted to get guitar picks from Scott Swift. And he's like, and now you've been blessed. He was just so funny and it was so cool. And we almost got a picture with him, but Taylor Nation or whoever the fuck they are started freaking out and that's fine. Having that private conversation with Scott was just like so humbling and so incredible that it doesn't matter. So then we are exited out of the rep room. We go to Club Olivia and we're like, holy shit, this is where we're going to be. And so then they start playing the video, the compilation video. And I'll put parts of that in next because I didn't realize how much they used me. People had tweeted me and told me that like, you're used a lot, but like they used me a lot. There you That's go. my there face. You go. Woo! There you go. Yes, before I had my beard. Oh. There you go again. There you go again. There you go again. I had to pause it. Fuck. Oh my god, I gotta go. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah. You were the star of the whole show. I That's mean, great. you're right. And the concert was incredible. Like, it was a one of a kind experience. I don't have a lot of, you know, footage of me reacting to the performances just because I was filming the performances, if I'm being honest. And I think the only thing that I have is my best friend sent me a video of me reacting to, like, the intro to Look What You Made Me Do, bitch. Take a look. Look what you made me do. insert the one for uh I did something bad because that fucked me up. Take the jacket off bitch. Take it off. Oh hell. Yes. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit. Oh! 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 Oh!
songs that she performed, the surprise songs. So the one song I was really upset that didn't make the set list was So It Goes, because it's one of my favorite songs from Reputation. She sang So It Goes acoustic, like, fuck me up. And then what is the other surprise song? But State of Grace. When I tell you that it meant so much to me that she did State of Grace, I cannot describe it enough. State of Grace is the song that I got the name of my fictional town in my novel from. Like that's, like I'm not joking. I'll zoom in if you can't see it, but that fucking says Armor Falls, bitch. That's from State of Grace. That's where I got that from. The fact that she played that song during the show that I was at, like, oh, it just warmed my heart. It was just an incredible night. And I was freaking out about our photo. Let's get into that. Next day, I'm, you know, seeing people with their photos and stuff. I see the person who went in before us with Taylor, they have their picture. And the people who went after us to meet Taylor have their picture. And I'm like, where the fuck is our picture? Like, I don't even believe that this happened if I don't have that picture, to be quite honest. So I'm checking the website that they gave us to use and like putting in the code that they gave us before we met Taylor and nothing's happening. So I even contact the people and I'm like, listen, I need my photo. Like, I'm so sorry, but I need that photo sweat heart. I finally get the photo right before he emails me back. And thank God it turned out good. In his email, this is just how serendipitous life is in general. Um, what he named the picture in the attachment was Taylor 22. And I have a 22 tattoo and 22 is my number. So the fact that that's what it was, and it was a picture of me and Taylor and my best friend, like, how? I never would have imagined that when I started making videos on this channel, like, literally on the whim, on a whim, picked up my camera and started filming myself reacting to that Kesha reaction of Rainbow. Like, I never would have thought that it would have led me to meet Taylor, who I've been literally following for 10 years. 10 plus years so anyone who's watching this video and is sad or worried that they're not going to meet Taylor it will happen I was in that boat for years years and like I've been here through like the red live streams the red leaks shout out to the red leaks on tumblr I know people remember that that are watching this it's been a long time coming and I all I did was Put myself out there and I know not a lot of people have that luxury or want to do that or anything like that but it will happen just stick with it stay supportive and it will happen like I never thought that this picture would be real and it is so just keep on hoping just keep on holding out hope and you will have your own picture like when I say I never thought in a million years that I would be looking at this, I never thought in a million years. That millionth year finally came, so just keep hoping. I'm so sorry this video was so long. Um, I was just trying to get everything out and tell the whole encapsulating story about how this happened and I'm so grateful for Taylor and Taylor Nation. And Taylor, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry I didn't give you a copy of my book. Maybe next time we meet, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. And I wanted to tell you so much, but thank you. And thank you to Taylor Nation for reaching out and giving me this incredible opportunity because of my video. And uh, I don't know what else to say. I guess that about wraps it up. Thank you for sticking around if you're at the end of this video. Again, I'm sorry it was so long, but I'm trying to get everything in there. Yeah, until next time. Bye.